One of my all-time heroes is Nick from Chicane. He's got a brand new album coming up called A Thousand Mile Stare. Interesting name. Why did you call it that? It's a thousand mile stare. Yeah, it's uh, kind of interesting. I find myself doing this quite a lot and that's kind of where the the title came from, you know. It reminds me of being uh, pretty young and being at school and you're daydreaming really, you know. Uh, you're supposed to be looking at the, the blackboard or whatever and you just, your eyes defocus and you're somewhere else, you know. It's like you're at work and you're looking at your computer and then you just drift off or you know uh, you know or you know you get in the car and you drive you do your drive to work or you drive home and you don't actually remember doing any driving and you kind of you're in a, you're in a kind of zone and it's a place where I think you're comfortable and your mind's kind of freewheeling and I kind of um, I kind of felt that had a lot of <laughs> A lot of sort of resonance with uh, with the album. That's kind of where you know I, I find you go to sometimes. You know when you when you're in a creative mode. You know I'll go into the studio and you kind of you drift off and you think about things and um, yeah, that's kind of kind of where the idea for the title for the, for the album came from, really. One of the biggest names in dance music is definitely Chicane. He's got a brand new album coming up called A Thousand Mile Stare. And I see some very interesting track titles with two collaborations with Vigri. Bear with me, because these are very difficult names. Little Job and Sola Rupas. Who is Vigri and what do these track names mean, man? How did you start working with them? The Vigri Band are uh, a really, really tremendous bunch of guys um, from Iceland. And uh, I discovered this lot. And um, I'd obviously been uh, interested in Icelandic music for a very long time. Uh, you know, we had the Poppy Holler thing, which was obviously heavily influenced and based around Siggy Ross's um, Hoppy Poller. Uh, but before that, I've been a big fan of Gus Gus and uh, Bjork uh, and quite a lot of uh, Emiliana Torini. Uh, I, I kind of, the Icelandic um, kind of approach to sort of music is really interesting and it's, it's been something I've been focusing on for some time. And so I was looking for the right band to get involved with and... I came across Vigri um, just sheer by chance that one, one of our fr uh, a producer friend of mine was working with them and I uh, listened to this stuff and there's something just fascinatingly organic about the way the guys work there so uh, I flew over there for a week or so and we recorded a whole bunch of stuff and you know it's 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 not synthesizers or anything like that really it's xylophones and glockenspiels kettle drums uh, horns uh, it's just all organic uh, orchestral stuff and it's completely insane and back to front and mad and uh, and there's something just so really charming about working with these guys um, uh, the two tracks on the album um, uh, that, that uh, in fact is the third track which we shall see later today later on in the year but the two on the album in the minute uh, Solar Apras uh, which means uh, Sunrise and uh, Yop <laughs> which means uh, Run uh, or Ran uh, uh, they're kind of appropriate for the pieces uh, in, in question and um, you know they're just really authentic uh, genuine um, pieces of music and I I've you know I've had so much fun putting them together and there's some of the highlights and some of the some of the most kind of exciting stuff I've done uh, for some time. So uh, really, really looking forward to um, playing these tracks live uh, very soon. And I hear you're doing a big launch party in London on the 27th of April this month. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, yeah, we're doing the... Uh the big London show. Uh, we try to do like one in London uh, each year. So um, uh, this year we're at Coco uh, in Camden Town. Uh, it's a great venue. I've played it before. It used to be the old Camden Palace, and um, it's like an old theatre. So it's a, it's a great venue. Uh, we've got uh, well, the wonderful Vigri band coming down, and uh, the stage will be uh, festooned with xylophones, kettle drums, and goodness knows what else so that's going to be hilarious uh, complete madcap orchestra on stage uh, got Aggie Jukes who did the rap on Going Deep come down um, 
uh, Kate Walsh also sang on the albums coming down. It's a real uh, sort of one-off. We won't really probably repeat it uh, again. Uh, you know, uh, it's kind of the album live, really. Uh, and um, I'll have my full full band with me. Uh, I have a smaller show, which which I sort of take around the world. Uh, it, we're, you know, venues where we can't always put in the full band. So it's, it's great to have the full band back with me and doing, doing a big show. Uh, yeah, it's sold out. So listen, um, I'm really, uh, I'm really looking forward to it.